Hello, welcome. This is my first ever video recorded Wednesday voice message. So usually I just hop on a uh, recorder and send out the recording of what I'm gonna say with just my voice, but you know what? I'm always trying to grow, always trying to revise. So here I am on video. We'll see how long this lasts. Fingers crossed this is something I get to enjoy on some level because I really do enjoy the voice messages. So we shall see how it goes. So the message that was coming to mind today is that, well, first the word envy, which is when we want something that someone else has. And when we want something that someone else has, so say you, there's someone that is very confident and you look at that person and you go, oh, I wish I had that because that leads to boldness here and there and right, you kind of have this idea in your head, this story in your head about what that person has because they are confident and also what you don't have because you're not embodying that confidence yourself. So, the saying, everybody is your teacher and your student. Well, let's bring envy in. So if everybody is your teacher and everybody is your student, when you feel envious of somebody, letting that, being, letting that be a teaching moment. Letting your envy of someone help you to identify in yourself where there is places for you to grow. So for example, me doing this video today, which videos are just hard for me. They just are. And I have a new friend, his name is Tim. He has a podcast, <laughs> a podcast called 20 Tim Minutes. And he does a ton of videos and I love his stuff and I deeply enjoy watching his videos. I like his personality, I like um, seeing his mannerisms, I enjoy his humor and how he goes about being himself while talking about mental health topics. So I was witnessing him and going, wow, wow. I noticed myself going, I really love that. I want to do more of that. I, oh, I'm going to take that in my mind and, and embody that myself. I used to look at other people. There was this one woman, she's a Boston business woman, and she was very forward with how who she was. She was very confident in her body, in her business, in her product. And I would look at her and just and start to feel bad about myself. Like she has something that I don't. Well, she has this going for her and that's a physical thing that I can't change in myself. So I would feel bad about it. And then one day I was watching her and I thought to myself, I don't even wanna follow her anymore. Like it's hard for me to watch her without me feeling bad. And so before I did that, I took a piece of paper out and I wrote down, what things do I envy about her? What things does she embody that I want for myself? And some of the things that I just wasn't expecting was her, she works like in business with her family. I envy that. I think that is like the coolest thing in my business. Well, I'm a solo person right now. That won't always be the case. Um, hint, hint. But right now it is. So me watching her work with her family, get to see her sister every day, um, her mother, her father, right? Like, oh, what a cool thing. I really love that. I really want to be in business with my family, with people that I love and trust and appreciate and want to see do good things that I know would make an impact on my Reach Your Happy community. Um, another thing that I really admire or envied about her was her, what was it? Her willingness to like put her product out there. I really don't talk too much about Reiki or my life coaching and what I do in session, but she is very forward about it. And I really envied that. 
So that was probably a year ago. And now I stand here today closer to all those things that I envied about her. And when I wrote them all down, I had such compassion for myself. It was like, okay, so I don't need to feel bad about looking at another person and wanting what they have. I can appreciate that, but I don't have to sit in envy. I don't have to sit in this kind of like pouty, I'm mad I don't have it mode. I could, I have, I don't want to anymore. I want to take that envy and let it be an, a, a pull for me. Let that be an inner drive that I want that. I want to build Reach Your Happy to a point where I can have family working with me. Where if my niece or nephew or cousin or whoever needs a job that they find interest in my field and what I'm offering, that they can be a part of my company too. So it, after writing down what I envied about her, it started to shift things immediately. I was like, oh, she is my teacher and I am her student. I am taking things from her that I wouldn't have otherwise because I felt that negative emotion of envy. It wasn't all that negative, was it? It was actually quite a gift to me. So let's work the other angle, which is being like you are someone's teacher and someone is your student. There is an even exchange that happens with community, with conversation that, you know, she was a teacher for me and I was a student in that moment. And who knows if, you know, she heard this message that the roles would, re would be reversed on some level. But what I was once a student to her teaching me, I now get to be the teacher and a student to you, or rather you a student to me. So it is this beautiful exchange that happens when we are willing to let go of this idea that someone could be better than you instead of just different. She embodies things like she, um, one of the things this woman does is dance in front of people. Your girl, me, I love to dance. However, I mean, don't mark my words, but I, I have no plans on getting on a stage and dancing. <laughs> I don't wanna dance on video. I don't wanna dance on TikTok. I, that, that's not really my thing. It, 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 yeah, no, <laughs> see, do you see this? I don't want that. Yet she, was embodying that and a part of me felt like, mm, I want that too. And it's like, no, you don't. You don't want all of that. You want her, like the energy she's exuding, which is confidence in what she's teaching, what she's giving to other people. And then I started to realize, you know what? I do have that confidence in my teaching. When I teach Reiki, when I'm in session, helping people to uncover their most authentic self, I am absolutely doing that. So, <clears throat> Anytime you feel a strong emotion towards anybody, if you will allow yourself first the grace, right? Like I am human, I feel these things, that is natural. If I did not feel, I would be a robot. I am no robot, so I feel things. And understanding too that this thing that I'm feeling can be a gift to me. It can be a learning point if I'm willing to be the student to this maybe sometimes not wanted teacher. But what our mind thinks we want versus what we receive can sometimes be different and that's okay. That doesn't mean you're wrong, doesn't mean you have something off, it's just that we are being, we are always being given the, the gifts, the guidance, the information, the situations that are going to help us evolve past the point that we've been before. But we can't get lazy with that. When life presents you with a problem and you're working through it, and maybe you're on the other side, you have some sense of relief. Don't just stop there. The remedy to, I had a really traumatic experience and it was two years ago now, almost three. The remedy for me was when I was out of the thick of it, like the real intense grief and pain and shame and everything that came along with that, was to look back and go, what did I learn here? What will I never do again? What will I 
consistently do. And one of the best gifts that I got from that traumatic incident was that I can trust me. I've got my own back. I know how to respond to situations, to people, to conditions that are unfavorable. I know how to respond appropriately. I've been in condition after condition from a very young age where I had to make good choices under pressure and I have checked that box. I have successfully done that. And so trusting that every situation you find yourself in, that traumatic moment for me, I looked at it and go, okay, what can I extract from that? Because that is both a teacher for me and I wanna be a student of that experience. So I would love to know how this is showing up for you right now. Perhaps you're in a teacher moment, perhaps you're in a student moment. I do believe, like I said, everyone is your teacher and your student, that it is an even exchange back and forth. I know in session, and I'm pointing here because there's a table right there, um, that when I'm channeling information from someone's energy, I'm, I'm going as Laura, not the channel. I'm going, oh wow, huh, hmm. And people come to me like, oh, you're my guy, you're my mentor, you're my life coach, you're my Reiki practitioner. And yes, that's true, but you're giving something to me as well. So. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see how this goes going forward. I will not make any promises about getting on video um, three times a week, but we'll see. You know, I'm gonna allow myself to try this out and see how we go. So thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, if you have any input, leave it below and I'm gonna put, um, Tim's information here. If you're looking for a good laugh and some wonderful insight about mental mental illness, I don't even want, it's like not even illness, I don't know what to call it. Anyways, check out his page. Thank you, Tim, for your inspiration and thank you, Reach Your Happy Family, for your continued support. Talk to you soon. Bye.